Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the worst six brawlers in the meta. So whenever I do these videos after uh, balance changes, you know, after like a week of testing the game, uh, I always tend to find that the meta for the low end of brawlers doesn't really change. So it's quite interesting, but we're going to play with Tom and Wizard. I'll put both of their links in the description below. Without further ado, let's jump into brawler number six. Alright guys, so moving into the 6th worst brawler in the game. So we're going to be playing a bit of Hot Zone as well, uh, just to spice it up a little bit. This map's actually quite fun. Uh, be able to, uh, the 6th worst brawler in the game, I would say, is Colt. Colt just absolutely sucks in this meta. There's only really one map where Colt's actually like incredibly meta on, and that's Kaboom Canyon, and that comes into rotation once per season. Colt's just really not good in this meta. There's brawlers like, literally, uh, who we're playing with right now, Amber and... Amber and Max were basically the better versions of Colt. Maybe Colt with the new gadget that's coming out might be a bit more viable, but I just Colt's just never got any love at all inside of the Brawl Stars meta. He's always been one of the worst brawlers in the game, and it's not really been the best to see. So let's try and pinch this uh, spike here. We should be able to get him down. Nice kill from Tom, but yeah, just brawlers like Amber um, completely counter Colt in this meta. Just look how much ammo she has. There's just no reason to use a brawler like um colt in this meta and the range just get outranged like crazy she's got more hp there's just everything's just better about amber than colt so we're able actually to take this down colt's not really the best in hot zone but we thought we'd spice up the gameplay a little bit we only need to get this zone left so she'll be able to win this game pretty comfortably but yeah colt definitely needs some love as i said maybe a change in the gadget might be able to bring him some love in the meta but his gadget that he's got at the minute is already a pretty good gadget for him it works pretty perfectly for him uh, but yeah, Colt's going to be the sixth worst brawler in the game at the moment. Uh, early best mode for him is heist. He's decent on a few brawl ball maps, but there's just way better options than him. Even though he's fun, he's just trash in the meta. Let's hop into brawler number five. Okay, Kevin, guys, hopping into the fifth worst brawler in the meta at the moment. I'm going to be picking Primo. So Primo, uh, to be honest, I don't think his stats are like really that um, bad. It's just because of the meta around him. So uh, for Primo, to be honest, I would just change... Uh, I'll indirectly buff Primo just because uh, the meta, as I said, doesn't really suit him. There's too many tank counters in the meta and Primo's only good really when there's a bunch of tanks in the meta and he just gets absolutely crucified in this meta. I'm going to absolutely just waste my super for whatever reason, but uh, yeah, he's only good in a tank meta and as I said, tanks are definitely not meta. Tanks are anything but meta inside of this and the, probably the best way to push tanks now is a game mode like Siege. Um, Brubble used to be the game mode to push tanks, but uh, Siege is definitely going to be the game mode to push your tankier brawlers in. And Primo, as I said, he's going to be the biggest tank counter, but uh, against the actual brawlers that counter tanks, so like the Spikes, the Taras, the uh, Bees, the Jeans, the Maxes, you know, the Ambers, Primo is going to be absolutely awful. So that's why he's not going to be meta at all, which uh, is really sad because Primo is a really fun brawler to play. And to be honest, his stats alone aren't really the worst, but uh, him as a brawler in this meta is not uh, the best at all. So Paul's going to be charging into that zone. Tom's actually lagging, I believe, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. Let's jump on top of his Tara. Let's just uh, try and secure this. We need to stop him from getting into this zone. They've actually not got too much percentage uh, left to cover. And Tom's going to be going in on the M's. I'm going to be sneaking around. Tara's going to be going through the portal. We need to watch out for that. She's going to get a little bit of percentage. I'm just going to go... And a TP on here. So we can probably get this zone down. I'm actually close to super. Can I get it in time? Yes, I can. But Primo, uh, yeah, as well as his Meteor Rush gadget. It's actually really good. But again, inside of Brubble, where Primo used to be best picked, it just opens up the map more. So for like, uh, it just helps the tank counters even more. So we only need this a little bit of this zone left. We're just going to go hop on into it. I'm going to jump away from that Taurus super. Bit of a bad jump there. Um... I'm sure we to recharge my super again pretty quick. So they're going to be defending that zone. It's been a pretty long game, to be honest. Hot zone, uh, as I said, I'm really starting to enjoy the game mode, to be fair. Uh, especially this map. This map's really fun, to be honest. Once you start to learn uh, all the little details about it, Tom's going to try and get this zone down. I'm really close to super, so once uh, this ball feeds me that, hopefully, which I'm just going to jump straight into the zone, we should be able to get this down here for, as long as I stay alive in time. One percentage left. I uh, wonder if we can get it down. But yeah, Primo... Um, as I said, just needs indirect buffs. Don't think he needs a buff entirely. He's quite a balanced brawler in essence, but yeah, just not good in this meta at all. We should be able to get this last percentage and win the game. So that's going to be another win. 
Supremo, the fifth worst in this meta. Let's hop into number four. Right guys, so jumping into the fourth worst brawler in the meta currently, it's going to be Crow. So inside a hot zone, uh, Crow's not really the best, but uh, inside a gem grab, that's going to be the best mode for uh, Crow. I've been seeing a ton of people push, well not a ton of people, quite a few people push Crow inside a gem grab. I mean, in the map that's out currently, uh, double swoosh, Crow's actually really good uh, lane in it, and he's good on other maps like uh, Crystal Arcade. He's pretty good on... Uh, I've got actually the other map now I'm having... <laughs> I'm having a struggle to remember the maps. I think it's Undermine. Yeah, Undermine's the other good map that uh, Crow's good in. But yeah, Crow, uh, it's just every single time I do this video, he's one of the worst broaders in the game. It just seems like Supercell don't want to buff uh, Crow too much just because if he becomes meta, it'll be a really toxic meta. But uh, yeah, Crow definitely starting to be uh, much better in gem grab. As I said, he's slowly creeping into gem grab meta a little bit. Um, because he can be really good with his gadget. The shield gadget's going to be 100% better unless you're playing on a really long range map uh other than that the yeah the shield's just gonna be really good it's gonna be, be able to win basically any lane when you pop that gadget and uh if we're talking about showdown crow's one of the best brawlers there but uh these lists are strictly competitive and what you see in competitive what you see in the 3v3 uh, meta and crow is one of them brawlers where you just never ever see it. and especially inside of tournaments you never see crow he's never going to be a brawler where he's good enough to be viable but he's a fun brawler legendary brawler uh, he's always been one of my favorite brawlers to use in that sense because he used to be so, so good in beta. But yeah, Crow really, really underpowered in this meta. I don't feel like we're going to see any type of buff anytime soon, but he's going to be the fourth worst brawler in the meta. Let's hop into number three. All right, guys, hopping into the next brawler event. So the third worst brawler in the meta is going to be Leon. So Leon hasn't been good in the meta for a long time. I've just used my uh, my clone in that teleport there. That's actually quite funny. Didn't realize he could do that, but... Yeah, Leon hasn't been too good in the meta. And again, Leon's okay in Brawl Ball when you combine it with like really meta brawlers like Max with Gene, etc, etc. But um, he just lacks in like near enough every department. He's got really slow reload speed. Um, maybe his next gadget will be really good. This gadget's just really, really trash. It can help uh, scan places and waste like one and you uh ammo and it's actually good against brawlers like uh b or like gene that don't do any piercing it can be really good to tank a shot but yeah inside a competitive meta he's absolutely awful i'm gonna go over to this side of things but yeah leon is actually really good on the map again double swoosh just like crow he's he's finding his way slowly into gem grab uh but most matchups like curve will spike like tara it, it just the uh, meta brawlers just really really hurt uh leon and crow but again it's like uh, because of how good they are in showdown that super soldiers don't want to seem to buff these type of brawlers they need to find a way to balance them because they're just not uh ever meta at the moment and it's really sad to see crow and leon not get the love they deserve these guys are actually making a good push to see if wizard can get a pull on there but yeah they're holding his own pretty well we need to get some pressure on them i don't i've literally never played hot zone on the channel but as i said i'm starting to really enjoy it so oh Okay, I've just popped my super and just shot immediately, so I wasted that. But looking like we're actually making a pretty decent comeback. And against the tank, I should be able to get my super back fairly quickly. So I'm just going to use my uh, super here. Amber's really weak, so should be able to stay in this zone pretty comfortably. Let's get this Amber down. And looking like we're going to be able to take the win. So yeah, Leon going to be the third worst ruler in this meta. I'm slowly starting to like him a little bit more with uh, Brubble and Gem Grab. Let's hop into brawler number two. Right guys, so moving on to the second worst brawler in the game, it's going to be Jesse. So no real surprises here. Jesse's been absolutely trash in the meta for a long time now. She's uh, slowly getting a little bit better inside of gem grab, but with the introduction of Amber, she's going to be even worse just because Amber's reload speed's really, really fast. Jesse's reload speed's really slow, and Jesse's just not good in the meta at all. Her best mode's going to be gem grab and brawl for sure, though. Uh, gem grab she's actually a half decent mid on a few maps like stone four um trying to think like undermine she's pretty decent on uh, crystal arcade she can be pushed on but yeah she's really good on stone four if you're looking for a really solid map to push her on stone four is probably going to be your best bet just because you can put the turret in the mid and it's going to be really hard for them to compete out of anything but uh, just going to be good against poco double tank here just because it's really hard for uh, them to destroy the turret so i'm just going to slow this rosa down here leave the turret down there and looking like we can actually get this zone. So I'm probably just going to defend the zone. This poke is going to go through the TP. And uh, be extremely aggro. But BB should be able to defend that pretty easily. Uh, Rose is going to be charging it on in here. 
Tom should be able to deal with the Poco pretty easily as well. I'm just going to run into my turret. Hopefully, my turret takes down the Rosa. Uh, Rosa's not actually going to uh, push there. Probably Tom should just go up uh, just because we need to get that zone. They need to get this zone, so it's going to be pretty hectic. But Jesse, again, I think every single list I've made with the worst brawlers, Jesse's been on it. So uh, it's mainly due to the fact that at low trophy, trophy ranges, people just don't know how to dodge and just get hit by these shots like all the time. You just see how slow my reload speed is. It's so hard to actually kill these brawlers. Uh, we've got a poker heal again. It's just doing next to nothing to these guys. Let's see if we can actually come back inside of this one. No, probably going to lose, but yeah, I'm going to keep this one in just because of how trash she is. She's the second worst brawler in the game. Let's hop into number one. Okay, guys, moving into the worst brawler in the game. Should be zero surprises here. It's going to be Shelly. So Shelly just absolutely sucks in this meta. She's actually starting to be a little bit better because of the tank meta. But because now tanks are so, so bad inside of Brubal, that was Shelly's probably best mode. She's going to be awful. She's terrible in gem grab. Awful in bounty siege. She's really bad in uh, hot zone. She's not the best in either, even though I'm playing her here. Brubal was like the only mode you could really push her in. I mean, it's actually a hot zone map that she's fairly decent in. It's like a really, it's got like a bunch of like cages. It's a really bad map, but she's fairly decent there. That's a kid going through the TP. That's actually hilarious how he's able to do that. But Shelly, awful in this meta. Uh, hopefully, she'll get some sort of buff. Maybe her gadget clay pigeons needs a bit of love. Band aid needs a bit of love. Something like that. She'll be able to bring Shelly a little bit more meta because I remember uh, when Band aid first came out, she was like the best brawler in the game. And Shelly, being the best brawler in the game, can be a little bit scary because of. Uh, the low trophy ranges that's why they're kind of scared to buff shelly just because of low trophy ranges so um be interesting to see what we do with shelly because she's definitely needs us some love did actually buff shelly's health a little bit <clears throat> because one of the main issues with uh, shelly was even tanks that she used to counter used to just be able to take it down in three hits so for example like frank and jackie they used to be like the only time you'd bring shelly into comp and like trying to counter the opposition uh, because of Shelly against tanks, but even tanks used to counter Shelly, which is really absurd. But Shelly by far going to be the worst brawler in the game at the moment. All right, guys, it's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you really enjoyed. Uh, these are obviously brawlers that I've tested across multiple modes, and it's quite evident that these brawlers are pretty bad. I mean, Primo is a bit of a controversial pick, uh, but I just feel like uh, with all the tanks being bad, it's just not very good at the moment. But that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.